こんにちは、みなさん。我々は、ナルフリーです。元気ですかおい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい、おい
first level or something. I remember I remember this was from the demo specifically. I'll put up an image. And but I was used to be scared of that boat flying ship, airship thing in the gym, so I don't know what it is. But because like the backside of it looked like this weird face, it was scary. But anyway, and then I asked him if he played Medieval, the one where you're a skeleton, uh, which I was another one of my favorite games. And we just essentially like played a bunch of the same games as kids apparently. And it was awesome. We just talked a little bit about about the, the the 90s platforms games and but how sadly it's it's not very common to see that kind of game around anymore uh, which is why i'm so happy that spyro was remastered crash was remastered and there was sonic mania um benjo kazooie got in smash and i think they were doing not a new game i'm not sure but there was ukulele and there's just been like so many 90s type of games coming out uh, there was a new lucky style for the Nintendo Switch which I wanted so bad I need to get it all these platform games that were essentially the, the whole vibe from from the 90s and personally my favorite genre of, for, for gaming I love platform games so much so much <laughs> they're all being revived and I love it it just feels like kind of like the 90s are coming back or something I hope developers follow suit because it would be amazing to see more more platforming games come out and what i'm really hoping is that since crash bandicoot is getting his fourth game and it's being developed by, by toys for bob which is the same company that developed the original crash uh, remaster and spyro remaster i'm hoping that spyro will get the same treatment and also get a whole new game of fourth games or like a sequel to the original trilogy like next year or something i don't know because that would be amazing can you imagine like oh my god <laughs> I'm so happy with like with Crash's comeback like the they've already shown a trailer and a gameplay and it looks awesome I'm looking so forward to playing it I love the new hard style they went with I love the new like the new gameplay uh, mechanics they're bringing and everything just looks so great and colorful I love it and man like there's no way they won't do the same for Spyro because Spyro was such a huge success as well. And I mean, they're like, <laughs> Spyro and Crash are essentially brothers at this point. So there's no way they're not gonna do the same thing for Spyro. My, I'm so excited because like, just thinking, because I've played every Spyro game from, from the first Spyro for PlayStation 1 to um, Spyro Down to Dragon for PlayStation 3. So all of the PlayStation games, excluding uh, Skylanders uh, and some of the GBA games, like I've played all of them. And so to imagine that so many years later, there might be a new whole game, like an entire new game. Like, <laughs> I'm so excited to think of, oh my god. Oh man, I can't wait, I can't wait. It's gonna be so cool. I hope they do it, they have to. Like, there's no way they can do it, like, come on. But yeah, so I'm super excited for that. And I wound up straying uh, from the points again, but yeah, it was super cool that the guy recognized my t-shirt and like, we kind of talked about it. The company I work at, like, they, they let you like, customize your, your vest with like, pin badges and everything. And so it's really cool when people like, see them and recognize them and like, talk about it. I hate the whole barrier between like, a salesman and, and the customer. I love like, talking with the customers as like, people. And I love breaking the barrier whenever I can. I like to make people at ease and comfortable and just like, you know, just kind of stray off from the whole all stuck up, gotta talk formally to these people kind of thing, you know, like just, I like, like being super chill. But anyway, that was cool. That was a cool thing that happened work today. It kind of made me smile for a reminder of it. It was like 30 minutes left until I left work at that point. So it just kind of, kind of made me feel, feel nice. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that was the thing. That's another thing, Crash Bandicoot is getting his fourth game. I'm going to leave the links on the description or the trailer and the gameplay if you guys want to check it out. Also, if you want to learn more about it, uh, check out Canadian Guy A's channel on the YouTube, on the description down below as well, because he makes a lot of videos about Crash, um, and he made about a lot of videos about Spyro. We know a lot of theories and trailer analysis and all the stuff about mainly Spyro and Crash, which is awesome. I love seeing that guy because he, he's so passionate about his content, and he always puts out a bunch of news and a bunch of leaks, and it's awesome. Like if you want to follow Crash's development and possibly in the future Spire's development, definitely subscribe to him and watch his, his, his videos. But uh, yeah, so those were two cool things that happened this week. I'm super excited for, for, for the new games and hell yeah, hell yeah. That's all I have to say about it. <laughs> Another thing I would love to talk about is uh, something that I'm really excited for. So my best friend, 
years and years ago when we were still in high school. So that was maybe around seven years ago, somewhere around that. He introduced me to this YouTube channel called Attacking Toucans and their secondary channel at the time, Versus, which was ran by Attacking Toucans and Josh Jepson. So Attacking Toucans is ran by Tyler, Tyler Cedarwell. Super fun content, it's so funny. Like Tyler is hilarious, especially I relate to him a lot because apparently we have a really similar humor <laughs> and we have this running joke that we're the same person because there's a lot of things that that I say and my best friend just goes like oh it's just what Tyler would say or it's really funny <laughs> but he last year along with Josh Jepson they created the first edition of a gaming convention called versus expo which is essentially to you know get people together just to play video games together and the the the, the, um, the concept of versus was like racing um, like two people racing against each other or even several people on a certain game trying to see who beats it fat at first just like races against one another and it's super fun to watch especially because they have such a good chemistry going on between one another and so he started expanding this to a lot more people and eventually it turned into a whole convention where they do just that at the same time that they raise money for charity which is awesome i love when people just just work on their on their dreams and like they, they're just comp so passionate about what they want to do uh, and and they put so much work into it and then on top of that when they want to strive for a better world to improve the world in any way they can and i love seeing that so much like there's just so much goodness to that and <laughs> i love it i love it so much so this this project really excited me because uh, this year due to the whole virus thing um there 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 were some issues with uh organizing the second edition of versus expo and so tyler he he made a indiegogo campaign to help raise funds so he can bring this convention to life in a in a better way like even he, he mentioned that even if he didn't um reach the goal which he already has like they reached the goal within 12 hours which is insane that was insane um man i'm so happy for him but he he would he would still go for uh, he would still organize the convention regardless but with uh raising uh this this money he can like make a much better event out of it which is awesome and so since they already reached their goal there's there's been uh, stretch goals that were added and so i'm gonna put a link down in the description below for for his channel for versus channel and for the campaign as well if you guys want to check it out and if you guys want to help out as well their content is really good it's really fun to watch super funny and i think it's awesome what, what they're doing both josh and tyler that they're creating this convention uh, well it's the second edition but to just bring gamers together bring people together in general and raise money to charity while they have fun playing video games and that's such like i love it <laughs> such a cool concept man i i love to see people do this kind of thing it's so nice man it's so nice and you can really see the passion that within them about this whole thing so like uh, I helped them out and I was super happy to. If you guys obviously don't want to work or anything, just you know, share it or something that, that already helps a ton. And it, it's cool to see this kind of stuff happening. And I can't attend myself because it's overseas, sadly. But uh, they're going to be live streaming the entire event. Uh, I think can, it's in July. But you'll find all of those all of those informations in the links that I'll provide. But that's the thing. So if you're into like watching races or speed runs or uh, just have, like well, just watching people play video games, which you might if you're here, <laughs> then definitely check them out. It's it's they're really cool. Um, but yeah, that was another thing that I'm super excited about. I'm looking forward to July and watch the live stream, and it, it's gonna be a good time. Another really cool thing that's happening is that apparently Animal Crossing New Horizons is getting the summer update on the July 3rd and I'm super excited for that because we're finally going to be able to swim. <laughs> There's going to be new encounters, new sea creatures to, to catch and put in your museum. I'm going to talk to little, little cutie blathers and in early August there's going to be the second summer update which we still don't know what's going to be adding but it's cool to see that we can finally do that and i really have to get back to playing that game jesus christ because here's the thing right <laughs> i started playing animal crossing a week or new horizons 
a week after it released. And I was like, hell yeah, this is super cool and fun. And so I played for like two, three weeks straight, I'm not sure. And I haven't touched the game ever since. <laughs> And I'm terrible at keeping up with Animal Crossing games. I hate it because they're so much fun and relaxing. But I want to get, I want to, I want to, I want to get, I want to pick up the game again because it's fun. And all my friends play it. My best friends play it. And it's fun games, relaxing. And I want to, to make an ape from Praley Island. But see, that's the thing with the whole like, I barely have time for stuff and it sucks because now I have work and then I get home and I'm like sleepy and I go to sleep and then I don't that's a lot of time that I'm not working on videos and that's bad so we're gonna fix it yeah ah oh, man but yeah like seriously this time around shit can go down I want channels to keep up man I'm so like motivated about it so inspiring like yeah yeah we're gonna do this oh, i have so many plans and i just want to like really reach where where my my ambitions are i, I really want this to work this time around the entire thing with my laptop breaking in 2013 and then having to take this huge ass break from for four years from youtube and then in 2017 it was already like i i've always felt like that whole break like hurt me so much like, who knows where I'd be right now if I hadn't stopped, because I, I I was having a steady growth back then. I don't know. Um, again, like like I mentioned in the first Friday Thoughts video, I will dedicate an entire video just to my entire YouTube story, because I want to uh, just vent about it and talk about it. But yeah, in 2017, I already felt like I was so like late, I guess. And uh, it was a big thing now, like, and it wasn't back then. So it just felt like I was just one more fish in the sea, which I am which I am, but that really made me lose a lot of motivation and couple up with the uh, whole thing of going back to work or, or starting to work in 2017 and 2018. That That's mainly what got me to like stop doing YouTube again. But this time around, I wanna like be able to keep up do both things. I mean, I have to, I will, I will, damn it, I will. Cause I really want to make this work and I want to catch up with all those years that I wasn't doing anything. and. See if there's still a chance for me to to get up there and just you know, follow my dreams and reach where I want to be. Imagine it so many times. <laughs> and then, like, it's not it's not even the entire thing of like YouTube fame or getting money with YouTube or anything, because that's not even my main goal. What I really want is to form bonds with the people that I really admire and really love, and being able to entertain the world alongside them. And that, that's like my main goal, it's like my, my extreme goal, my ultimate goal is like to get to that point. I, I, I may even not I can do a living out of YouTube, but as long as I can get to a point where I can meet those people and and, and be friends with them, because I, I love those guys so much and <laughs> I relate to some of them so much and they're just such genuine good people and I, I just like I don't know, I have this thing where I'm a very empathetic person. I'm very, I, I, I build really strong connections with people. Um, and so I feel like that's one of my ultimate goals is just form a bond with them. I want to have a, fr a strong friendship with these people and, and entertain the world alongside them. Like that's really what I want to do. <laughs> and I'm not saying who they are because like, I don't want to use names for views or anything like that, but I want to get to that point, but I understand I have to work really, really goddamn hard for that. And that's what I'm striving to do. But anyway, we're gonna wrap it up here. It's been long enough. <laughs> um, I hope you guys uh, are enjoying these videos. Uh, please let me know in the comments below how your weeks were and what were the highlights of it and how your weekend went. And if you guys have anything that you'd like to share. I'm a person that gets really excited about things that I guess excite me. <laughs> <laughs> And so I love sharing with people like the things that make me happy and the things that make me excited and like a lot of times I don't give a shit <laughs> to be perfectly honest and I do this a lot of work and like I understand it like people smile and go like they try to to look like they're interested but like deep inside I know they don't really care but like I appreciate that they try at least but I mean I don't know maybe I just like sharing things I don't know I don't know, I like sharing things that make me happy. I guess that's a big part of the reason why I like, we have this whole thing with creating, sharing and entertaining. I like making people laugh and people happy and um, 
and I like like showing off the things I create because I love creativity and I love creation. I think it's such an amazing thing that you can put your imagination out there uh, for others to see and just kind of like, I don't know. And so like, I, these videos are really fun for me to make because it's always like throughout my week I, when something awesome happens, I go like, oh my God, I have to share this with them, uh, with you guys. Uh, on Friday thoughts and I can't wait for Friday until starting for Friday to put up the video and record and, and edit and, and then upload everything and yeah it's like these things really excite me like I, I love making these Friday thoughts videos because I can just like kind of kind of share what excited me throughout the weekend like the highlights of it and it, it makes me it makes me happy to like just like look back at those memories even though they were lap just like two days ago but yeah it's awesome I love hearing when people talk about their their passions and about things that really interest them and everything and things that make them happy so like I would definitely love to, to it would be really interesting to see what you guys have like had happened in your weeks I guess like and that that you that you think is worth sharing that you would like to share of course you don't have to if you don't want to but yeah like if, if there's something that you feel like you could share you would like to definitely feel free to leave it in the comments down below it'd be so awesome to see what you guys are up to and uh, what kind of cool things that happen uh, but anyway thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to link to check all of the links down in the description below. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like if it's and subscribe if you'd like to. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.